Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Timeless Collective reading. So for those of you who are new to tarot, um, a collective reading is just basically a reading that resonates with a certain group of people. Um, these readings are timeless, so whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. If this should not resonate with you, in the description box below, you will find the link um, for my Timeless Collective playlist. And you could just dip in there and see if there's anything that resonates with you a little better, okay? So, oh, guys, one moment. I am so sorry about that, guys. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for the collective today, please? Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages for the collective today, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Love messages, clarity, and guidance for the collective today, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Love messages, clarity, guidance for the collective, please. All right, my loves. So let's go ahead and get into uh, the pre-shuffle message. So, guys, what I picked up on here is somebody um, is seeing how you glowed up or they're realizing your worth now that you are not around, okay? I feel like this person's passion for you has been aroused um, now that they're watching you, looking good, feeling good, um, you know what I'm saying? You have just cut that energetic cord with this person and you look lighter, brighter because they're not, you know, it's, you might have been dealing with an energy vampire that was sucking the life out of you and it made you look tired. It made you feel worn down. It made you feel um, just exhausted and have low confidence and low self-esteem and just, you know what I'm saying? Not a good energy, okay? Which makes you look dark, okay? Um, now that this person isn't around, okay? Um, your vibration is much higher. You've stepped into your higher self. You're confident. You're looking good. You're feeling good. And now this person wants to come in and talk to you. Maybe, you know, this person may text you at night, um, a little booty call or hey i'm drunk or you want to meet up or what you're doing you know what i'm saying um i feel like you're just you know they may find that they're blocked they may find that you have your wall up that you're protecting your peace at this point okay um they are not going to take this well when they realize that they can't get through to you that's when it's really going to hit this person okay um this person is going to end up you know, dreaming about you being in pain, overthinking, like they're going to start to lose their, their, their crap a little bit here. Okay. This person is going to start to become obsessive about wanting to speak to you because every moment that goes by that they can't reach you, they start realizing things about you that they just simply didn't see before that they didn't acknowledge when they had access to you. Okay, so all these little things about you, oh, I wish the way, I, you know, I, I miss the way they smiled, or I miss the way they did this, he or she did this, I, w I miss the way he or she did that. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're going to start to acknowledge all these little things about you that they didn't appreciate before. Okay, um, the truth of the matter here, though, is, is no matter how much this person fights, I feel like they're about to get a really rude awakening that you're just really not dealing with it anymore. We've got, yeah. We've got the tower here, guys, Aries, Scorpionic energy. It's going to be a huge shock and change for them that they don't have you wrapped around their finger anymore. And now that they're realizing this loss and how, you know, serious this is that they've really lost you, uh, they're losing their shit. I'm not going to lie. This person realizes that, you know, they were very, uh, they didn't treat you right. This person lied to you, cheated, you know, they were deceptive they were sneaky and I feel like they're still trying to be sneaky and sneak their way back in you know we've got guardian angel so you know guys I feel like your angels are close to you I feel like they're guiding you away from this person um, maybe towards new love hopefully spirit what messages do we have here for the collective please we have happy family yeah, your angels may be guiding you towards something 
way better towards your Ten of Cups. Uh, maybe for a moment there, you were undecided if you wanted to move on or not. Because sometimes we're just comfortable in toxic relationships. You know how that works. You know what I'm saying? It's always, it's the most toxic relationships that are the worst uh, when it comes down to leaving them behind for whatever reason. So we've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So guys, this needs to be done whether you reconcile with this person or not. This needs to be done, okay? Uh, because you don't want to bring that pain or suffering, suffering or toxicity into a new relationship, okay? You don't want to carry that around with you. So it is important to forgive whatever this person has put you through and put it behind you, okay? So here we have increase. Yeah, see, you, you will get more. You will be able to manifest better and the universe and God will be able to provide more for you if you release that toxicity because it's kind of like if you're making room in your life for more abundance, the more abundance will come in. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for <clears throat> the collective, please, Spirit? So we have Mother Nature. So for me, this is a card of grounding, guys, okay? If you're feeling a little bit like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is really over. I can't believe that this person has pushed me to the point that I have to truly walk away from this. You know, if you feel like your life is kind of in a whirlwind right now, you might want to step out into, you know, maybe the forest or take a, a, you know, a hike or go to the beach. Just take your shoes off, kind of, uh, you know, recharge a little bit, okay? We have Cracker, positive energy surrounds you, love, joy, and good fortune awaits. How beautiful is that? So we've got that happy family and good fortune. So I do feel, guys, that you have really beautiful energy coming towards you. Okay, oh, look, marriage, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. All right, so I feel like you have beautiful coming things in for you, uh, but you have to focus on releasing, forgiving, learning your lesson from whatever you know situation you were in here, and releasing, releasing the situation so that you can invite that new and positive into your life. Your hard work is paying off. So as I said, uh, guys, if it's been hard for you to get away from this connection, if it's been hard for you, if you feel like kind of, frustrated or frazzled or like my gosh you know how did this happen we've got a new start coming under the deck uh ground yourself guys ground yourself and make room for the new because we do have something very new and beautiful coming in here um but you know this ex is coming back with a lot of regret and i feel like you know what's scary about exes is that they know you they know you well and they could get in your head very easily so we have the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So no matter what this person says, do not forget to protect yourself. Do not forget what the truth really is, okay? We've got coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. This person is going to want to sit down and have a conversation with you because they don't want you to see the truth. You see what I'm saying? They want to be able to talk to you so that they can get in your head and, you know, have you believing whatever they want you to believe okay spirit what messages do we have here for the collective impatience yeah this person does not like being blocked from you okay they do not like being blocked from you trickery this up this person is up to no good i'm telling you guys you got to be careful this person is up to go no good you will end up being a victim i'm for many of you i'm feeling that this is a little narcissistic or emotionally manipulative and we have dissipating okay i feel like this person feels their hold on you dissipating and they need to come in and refuel you see what i'm saying like they need to come in and make sure that they hook you again okay um, so let's see here. So we have the three of cups. We have the star Aquarian energy. We have the Knights of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Ace of Wands. 
we have the 10, excuse me, not the 10, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I'm sorry, guys, my energy is a little low today. I'm not feeling well. We've got the Six of Wands. Oh, good Lord, this person has a massive ego. We've got the Lover's card, Gemini energy. And we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. So, guys, I'm, I'm going to read this side. Now, this could be your side or this could be their side. Um, so, what I'm feeling here is somebody wants to come in and reconcile. Three of, three of Cups and the Star card. They want to come in and reconcile. Now, the way they may go about doing this is, again, with that Ace of Wands, they may hit you up for sex, you know, just randomly, you know, maybe in the middle of the night saying that they're drunk or something. Um, or this person, you may get a new beginning in communication with this person being super sweet. That Knight of Cups is so sweet. So it's a Mr. Romeo. This is someone who's a smooth talker, someone that can really get you to believe that they love you and that they they're romance you just the sweetest things okay with that king of wands and that six of wands the king of wands doesn't lose and that six of wands is a victory card this person wants to come in they want to win you back this person has a massive ego they're very cocky they have a massive ego and with the lover's card and the eight of cups, I feel like this person is also very much disconnected very much undecided on who they really want in their life um, and they want to win over, like, let's just say they think that you're walking away to move towards someone else. They're going to come in and win and make sure that you are still theirs, okay? Because this King of Wands doesn't lose, okay? Again, that ego will not allow it. So here we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. We have the Moon, more Piscean Energy, Cancerian Energy. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian Energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress. We have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. And we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So on this side here, we have somebody that is clear as day wanting to walk away from something. Someone here is leaving someone out in the cold, shutting them out, blocking them. Just totally that. Remember I told you in the pre-shuffle that energy of this person here can't get through. Do you understand? Um, now with the hanged man and the moon card, I feel like there's an energy, someone's intuition is just, someone here has been completely like disappeared off the face of the earth. There's no response here being left on red. Um, someone here is just acting in a way that they've never acted before. Whereas once this person, you know, which I feel might be, is probably you, was always an empress, always there, always at the ready, always, you know, at this person's beck and call. Now you have found your independence. You have broken free with that pre-empress energy. You're looking good, you're feeling good, and this person sees it, okay? And they're impatient because they can't get through to you, okay with that chariot and that page of cups this person is rushing in wanting victory and giving their apology because they don't like the fact that you can shut them out like that that does not work for them you see what I'm saying it really doesn't that does not they don't like that spirit tell me about this three of cups please tell me about this three of cups so we have the death card, scorpionic energy. Someone here feels that energetic cord being cut. They feel the shift. They feel the, the, the transformation. They can feel it. And that's why they're coming in wanting reconciliation. Tell me about the star. We've got the two of pentacles. Yeah, this person uh, doesn't know where you stand anymore. They're uncertain about, you know, whether or not they can heal this. And they don't like that feeling, okay? Okay. Uh, Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini energy. This person is coming in with all their usual lovey-dovey stuff to get you back and you don't trust it. Ace of Wands and the Hermit, Virgo energy. This person maybe wants to come in, have sex with you or, you know, talk to you passionately and it, they're confused because they're the crickets. You know what I'm saying? You're the Virgo energy there. You're not responding. You know what I'm saying? It's like you've disappeared off the face of the earth. 
we've got that uh, King of Wands and the High Priestess, okay? This King's intuition is telling them something's up. They need to come in and they need to assert their, their dominance over you again because King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, you are withholding emotion. You are now in control of your emotions. And when you're dealing with somebody with this King of Wands, Six of Wands, and energy that always wants to win, that doesn't work for them. They need to be in control of your emotions. And now their, their intuition is telling them that you have taken back control of your emotions. And they don't like that. They do not like that. Tell me about the Lover's card. King of Wands again, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. We've got Sagittarian energy. This King of Wands is realizing here that they need to make a decision to heal things with you because you're really tired and you're ready to walk away and give up on this connection and they can't have that, okay? So now they're gonna start giving you a lot of attention, wanting to win your affection back. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. We've got the Fool. Aries energy. I feel like for whoever's on this side, someone here has left this out on the cold. They're moving on with the two of swords and the six of wands. The person on this side sees victory in cutting this person out of their life. Hanged man, the ten of cups. Tell me about the moon, the eight of swords. Yeah, see someone here is stalling this connection because on this side, this person wants a ten of cups. This person wants a family. They want a relationship. They want a marriage. They want something solid. And with the moon card and the eight of swords, when they are with this person here, there's this constant feeling of something's wrong. Something's not right. Something's happening behind my back. You see what I'm saying? And you don't want to deal with that. Tell me about the empress. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. It's taking too long for this person to commit, okay? It's taking too long for this person to commit. And now that they're seeing that you are pre-Empress, that you have disconnected, there's that Knight of Cups again coming in. That Knight of Cups is right here uh, wanting to, you know, yeah, see four of pentacles under the deck. They want to make sure that they hold on to you. This person wants to possess you. They want to make sure that you don't go anywhere. With the chariot and the three of cups, this person is rushing in, wanting that reconciliation. And here you go again, Virgo energy, pre-empress. Um, they want to apologize to you because they don't like the fact that you are independent from them, that you're not still hooked on them. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is used to, you know, leaving and you're just sitting home on the couch by your phone waiting to hear it. you're hooked on them. Do you understand? And this person sees that you have now taken control of your own emotions and that 100% does not work for them. Okay. The challenge here is the eight of wands and the ace of cups. The challenge is getting you to believe that they love you okay talking to you trying to offer their cup to you rekindling this is a huge challenge for them and for you the challenge is moving away from this and finding new love okay now the outcome here is the emperor and the six of swords i feel like someone here we have the empress and the emperor here this is a true pair um, you could be married to this person you could have a child with this person um, it could just be a strong soul tie with this person um, so the outcome is ultimately with the six of swords and the emperor it could be that this emperor is coming in wanting to take this connection out of this rough place and move to more peaceful waters or it could be that someone is truly leaving this emperor behind and they're starting to realize that okay Tell me about this emperor. Yeah, this emperor is being left on red. They're being left to wait. Piscean energy and the six of swords. So, yeah, this emperor is really waking up to the fact of, holy crap, I've just lost my person. Yep, see, and I told you, once they get that realization, Aquarius, Gemini, once it hits them, once that tower hits, guys, this person is not doing well. Okay, they're not doing well. This person is crying, dying. Okay, this person wa is going to want to talk to you. Nine of Cups, this person is going to want to talk to you. And with that Seven of Swords and that Five of Cups, they will stop at nothing to come in. They're, this person is very remorseful. They re they're having a lot of regret. Karma is hitting this person, okay? Um, they regret being sneaky. They regret lying to you. They regret this because now you are not accepting their calls. You're not accepting their offers. And that's what's making this person rush towards you. Okay. Um, they they don't like that. They were expecting you to just sit around and wait for them. And now that it's not, you know, you're not 
available, they need to come in and get their claws into you again. Okay, so just be careful with this right here because this person's going to want to meet up with you. Oh, can we just have a quick talk or a quick conversation? Just talk to me for five minutes. And that's all this person needs because right now, without this person, um, and I do feel like this is an energy vampire. I got to be honest with you. I'm feeling that very strongly because what happens here is when you don't speak to this person energetically, your vibration goes up and you're vibrant and you're lively and, and you can, you know, you may miss them maybe, but your, your energy is up. You're on a higher spiritual vibration. And when you speak to this person, they rob you of that energy. So now you're weak spiritually and they can get into your head and manipulate you okay so you see clearly right now because you haven't been around this person but once you meet them once you talk to them once you converse with them okay they will rob you of that energy and you will fall back into the pattern as before and they know that they know that they know that all they need is a few moments of your time you see what i'm saying to um to get in your head again you see with that eight of swords they need to get in your head again and they are aware of that. They are aware that they need to either talk to you on the phone or be close to you to get that energy down. You see what I'm saying? To get that, like, to get their claws in again. All right, guys. So let's take it to the extended here because um, this person is now coming to an awakening that you've really gone. And I feel like this person is going to stop at nothing. Uh, to try to get you back even if it's a five minute conversation this person may very well be able to get their claws in so let's see what happens here what this person's true feelings and intentions are let's see um you know what the outcome is going to be if you reconcile with this person and we'll get some messages from spirit because i i feel like this person has had quite the shock realizing that you have really walked away so i don't know if they're going to straighten up after this you know what i'm saying i don't because we have that death card there on top of the three of cups this person may be realizing that they really have to change to come back and reconcile with you um it, this person has suffered quite a shock and with that nine of swords they're not taking it so well i can tell you that so maybe this person has been scared straight you know what i'm saying so let's see what their feelings and intentions are let's see what will happen if you reconcile and we'll get some message from spirit okay I love you guys. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section. Bye, my loves.